are the faces of those with MFD1, TCOF1, or Treacher-Collins syndrome as it is more commonly known. Treacher-Collins syndrome is a disorder that causes facial defects. The maturity of bones and other tissues are affected by this disorder. Some of the characteristics of TCS are abnormally formed, smaller absent ears, thin eyelashes, eyes that slant downward, and a notch in the lower eyelids. Individuals with TCS sometimes have further eye deformities that can lead to vision loss. Hearing loss can be a problem in almost half of all cases because of defects in the middle ear. The individual may need hearing aids to help with hearing loss. TCS patients may also require a tracheotomy to assist in breathing. Another characteristic can be cheekbones not being fully formed or lack of cheekbones in the side wall and floor of the eye socket. A slanting and smaller lower jaw is also another characteristic. TCS individuals may have a small airway, small mouth, and a cleft palate. In severe cases, patients may have a blocked airway due to underdeveloped bones. Treacher-Collins syndrome is not fatal. Although there are different estimates of how common Treacher-Collins syndrome is, a number of websites listed that this condition affects an estimated 1 in every 10,000 births. Treacher-Collins syndrome is common in Caucasians, but does affect all major ethnic groups as well. TCS is autosomal dominant which means one copy of the disease gene must be present in each cell to cause the disorder. About 60% of cases are caused from new mutations in the TCOF1 gene, which means the affected individual will have no history of the disorder in their family. In 40% of the cases, a person with TCS inherits the disease gene from an infected parent. Since TCS is dominantly inherited, there is a 50% chance of an infected individual passing it on to their offspring. Treacher-Collins syndrome is caused by mutations in the TCOF1 gene, which is located on chromosome 5. This gene is responsible for making a protein called triacyl. Mutations in the TCOF1 gene reduce the amount of protein in the cells. There are 36 TCS-specific mutations, including 27 deletions, 6-point mutations, two splice junction mutations, and one insertion deletion. Researchers believe the protein plays a role in the formation of bones and other tissues in the face. There are many prenatal genetic tests for treacher collins. One is an amniocentesis. Amniocentesis takes DNA from fetal cells and is usually performed at about 15 to 18 weeks gestation. Another method is chorionic villus sampling at about 10 to 12 weeks gestation. An ultrasound examination can also be performed. During the ultrasound, they look for abnormalities in the facial features and ears. Treacher Collins is diagnosed before or at birth. Treacher Collins syndrome can be diagnosed on a clinical basis or by finding a mutation in the TCOF1 gene. There is no cure for Treacher Collins syndrome, but reconstructive surgery can be used to fix the chin, cheeks, and cleft palate. And remember, these are the faces of those with Treacher Collins syndrome. Thank you.